And then for tomorrow, a cloudy start, then some sunshine, but warming up to 58 once we get that sun out. And as far as the marathon goes, again, the nice day for the marathon. The Boston Marathon went off without a hitch. 27,000 athletes from across the globe came here to start their trek to Boston. I'd like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to the medical professionals and healthcare institutions who have cared for and continue to care for those injured in the Boston Marathon bombings. Your professionalism and kind-heartedness has been critical to the healing of our whole community. You were effective, thorough, and courageous in the face of tragedy. And I am so pleased that the Schwartz Center is acknowledging you for the supremely compassionate care you brought then and today. Thank you to all the amazing caregivers who played such a critical role in responding to the tragedy at the Boston Marathon in April. The doctors, nurses, support staff at Boston's world-class hospitals showed incredible courage, strength, perseverance in a time of real crisis. Your response helped save the lives of many people at the Boston Marathon and in the days afterwards. You made us all in Massachusetts deeply, deeply proud. I want to thank all of the caregivers for your professionalism and generosity. In addition to providing the best medical care in the world, you are helping to heal our community. I'm grateful to the Schwartz Center for working to make compassion healthcare priority. I am honored to pay tribute to the marathon caregivers. On April 15th, doctors, nurses, and staff in the medical tents delivered world-class care with skill and sensitivity, all the while keeping families informed. Middle of all the chaos, the patients found care and compassion at Boston's hospitals. That high level of treatment goes on today as survivors continue to recover. But here's the thing, our hospitals and the people who work in them didn't become great on April 15th, they have been great for a long time, providing outstanding care, not just on Marathon Day, but every day. When the horrific events of April 15th struck our community, we were surrounded by heroes. First responders, medical personnel, spectators and runners who jumped into the fray without regard for their own safety in order to help innocent victims. I want to thank the caregivers whose professionalism, skill and compassion helped to save many lives on that fateful day and who continue to save lives on an everyday basis. And to the Schwartz Center for making compassionate care a national priority. The events of April 15th did not break us because the compassion, caring and commitment demonstrated on behalf of our first responders, medical personnel, businesses and our residents made us stronger than ever. The people of the Commonwealth are grateful, not only for your compassion and professionalism that you showed on the days after the attack, but for what you do for patients every single day. We'll never forget the events of April 15, 2013, the victims, their families, and the survivors. We'll always remember and be thankful for the support you continue to give them today. The compassion, caring, and commitment demonstrated on behalf of our first responders, medical personnel, businesses, and our residents made us stronger than ever. Out of the dust of tragedy, the spirit of community emerged. It might just have been our finest hour because we showed the world and each other that nothing can defeat that spirit. Thank you again to all the caregivers and thank you to the Schwartz Center for fostering compassionate healthcare delivery. What you do is powerfully important and it strengthens our communities and our spirits.